This is Scott the Fix It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Petrozoni Italian oven that is not heating correctly. Um, it lights up, but every time you close the oven door, the flame goes out. So I'm going to remove this. I got the racks out first, but I'm going to remove this panel that's on top of the bake burner by removing two Phillips head screws on the front. This, this model actually comes apart pretty easily. Take out these two Phillips head screws and then I can lift up on the panel and get that out of the way. That gives me access to the bake burner assembly, which is just right, right there in front of you. And you can see the burner assembly here. There's a couple of screws holding it in. The, the thing we're seeing in front is the heat deflector on top of the burner. So I'm going to get this all out where I can work on it. I take out a Phillips head screw on the right, and then there's a Phillips head screw on the left that holds the burner in position. Here's one on the left. Spin that out. And my suspicion is that the thermal coupler is maybe a bit dirty. So I'm going to use a wire brush and some electrical cleaner to clean it up. I can hear it sparking, so it's creating a spark, it's lighting, it's just not staying lit. And you can replace the thermal coupler on this model, but there's a lot of disassembly, so it might be best to try to clean it first to see if there's an effect. So there's a couple of clips that hold on the spark assembly and the thermal coupler and I just lift it up on this one bracket to help loosen it up. I removed the screw but it's kind of stuck so I lifted it up. Now the Venturi tube, the burner tube, the whole assembly can, can come out towards you but it's still hooked up to the wire. Here we see the little ports where the gas comes out when it lights. There's our spark module to the left and it's being held in by a little clip and I'm just going to use a standard head screwdriver to remove that clip and the clip that holds on the thermal coupler. You could leave everything in place and, and clean it just inside the oven cavity. Uh, pretty easy to do. You can use your wire brush and your electrical cleaner. But I'm going to remove it just to have better access. So these are kind of rare ovens are they're really nice. I don't see them that much in the United States. So I'm putting a standard head screwdriver in to try to pry this clip off. Be careful because it's ceramic. Don't put too much pressure against the ceramic. And then once you get that clip off, that spark assembly will just pull straight out. So I got that out and then there's a clip on the thermal coupler that's kind of the same deal. You just got to get something in there to pry it out. And then you can pull the thermal coupler just straight out of the bracket. And then you have the whole burner assembly where you can work on it easier. And just pulling, leveraging that out and I can pull the thermal coupler assembly out. So this one was pretty dirty, and also it seemed like the copper wire coming into the thermal coupler was, was loose. So I pushed it in a lot more securely, and I cleaned it with a wire brush, and also I used some electrical cleaner. Here's the stuff I was using, the CRC electrical cleaner. You can get it at Home Depot. So I got it wire brushed, I'm going to clean it. And this stuff evaporates really fast, so you don't want to like get it near a flame until it's all evaporated. But by the time you get back to the other, it'll be all evaporated. So I put everything back together after cleaning it, and then put those screws back in, the two Phillips head screws that hold in the lower panel. And put the racks back in, and then when I started it up, I noticed that the flame was stronger and when I closed the door it did not go out so everything worked better. I think the thermal coupler was just loose probably was the main problem and that's why it wasn't sending a signal for the safety valve to stay open. So 
I have to push in and then turn. I can hear it clicking and then I can see the blue flame. I have ignition and then clean and then closing the door did not turn it off so it started to actually work properly again. But here's what it looks like. Here's the little brand name. Really nice looking stoves and ovens. And I gave it a test. You got it up to 350 degrees as, as it should properly. The flame did not go out. So nice oven working again. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.